Now this. We have new poll numbers on the California governor's race. A real surprise. Two Republican candidates, John Cotts and Travis Allen, are now in second and third place, and they're gaining a lot of ground. They're just behind the Democrat, Gavin Newsom. Joining us now, Jim Brulte, chairman of the California Republican Party. I take it all back, Jim. I've been on this program, I've lectured you, I said, it'll never happen. A Republican cannot win a statewide race in California ever again. But you know, you're pretty close, aren't you? Well, in order to do the impossible, you have to see the invisible. And Travis and John both see the invisible, and they're working hard. And we like this survey. It continues a trend, whereas the more they become known, the better they do in the polls. At the beginning of the campaign, almost every Democrat candidate had higher name identification than John Cox and Travis Allen. As this campaign goes into the last five weeks, they're starting to hit their stride, and we're very happy. Now, there's a couple of things going for you here. You're organizing, uh, not you specifically, but I believe the Republicans are organizing a ballot initiative which would roll back uh, the gas tax increase that Governor Brown imposed. You've got the signatures required. You'll probably get on the ballot. That's working very much in your favor, I suspect, because across the political spectrum, it is an unpopular gas tax in California. Yeah, it takes about 530. 85,000 signatures uh, next week. Uh, the committee, which the California party has contributed a couple hundred thousand dollars to, is going to uh, submit about 900,000 signatures. Look, um, Jerry Brown has said his administration wants us to be on a Rhodes diet, and yet the minute the Democrats got the supermajority in the legislature, they passed a $5.2 billion gas tax increase. 12 cents a gallon for regular, uh, 20 cents a gallon for diesel, and none of it goes to building an additional road or an additional highway. Um, when Jerry Brown first campaigned for governor, he said he would not support a tax that wasn't approved by the voters. Um, he did support this when it came out of the legislature, and we're going to put something on the ballot to allow him to keep his promise, uh, but we think the voters are going to reject Okay. this $5.2 billion tax increase. Now, we know that San Diego County, Orange County, and maybe a dozen towns have said no to the California sanctuary state law. Can you bring us up to speed? Are there any votes scheduled in northern counties or northern cities to oppose sanctuary state laws? Yes, up in Placer County, um, Supervisor Kirk Euler has asked to see if there's... Uh, the votes to put that uh, in his county. Most of the initiatives at the local level are in Southern California, where the greatest impact is. But there are a number of very conservative counties in the north that we expect votes on over the next month or two. So fast forward to November. Do you have a real hope of a Republican winning the governorship of California? I mean, seriously. Yeah, the answer is, look, if you look at every metric in California, the crime rate's up, the infrastructure is collapsing, we're spending almost $100 billion a year on education, and California companies have to go out of state and, in some cases, out of the country to find a workforce. Um, we have the greatest income inequality in California, even though Democrats rail against income inequality. By every metric... California's in trouble. The Democrats own California. They broke California. And voters are looking for a fix. And Republican policies are the fix. But you've got to beat the Greens, the climate warriors. You've got to beat the government worker unions, and they're very, very strong. You've got to beat the Trump haters, and large in number. You've got to beat Hollywood, and you've got to beat Silicon Valley. That's a very impressive list of people that you've got to beat to win. Yes, it is, but voters uh, are paying attention. The legislature is more unpopular today than it is popular. Jerry Brown it is, it is at his lowest popularity uh, since 2012. Voters are paying attention, and they don't like what's happening in California. And I would just uh, remind people that Mario Cuomo, the great governor of New York, couldn't be defeated, but he ended up being defeated. And in 1991, George Herbert Walker Bush had a 91 percent approval rating. The candidates running against him for president were called the Seven Dwarfs. 
One of those dwarfs, Bill Clinton, went on to be elected president and was the first Democrat president in my lifetime reelected. So we know we have an uphill battle. We know we are the underdogs, but underdogs always fight harder, and we're fighting for the future of our state. Jim Brulte, thanks for joining us, sir. We will update this frequently. Believe me, we will. Thank you very much, Jim. Good stuff.